It is another sad day for the people of Kaduna State, and in particular for the students of Nuhu Bamali Polytechnic, Zaria, and those living in its environs. The school is located along Kaduna Zaria Road. Bandits attacked the staff quarters, killing one student, kidnapping eight others, and two lecturers. Eyewitnesses narrate the incident. I ran to our lodge, FCS lodge. Reaching there, the guys there, one of them say, okay, since they are chasing me, let him take me back home. Coming again to come back to this place. Before us, they shot a gun in our front there. We became scared. I was begging the guy, let's go back to the house. He said no, that he want to go to Chaplin's house to see what is happening. That's how he picked touch and went to Chaplin's house. Though I was hearing crying of somebody saying Chaplin should help him. That Chaplin is a good man, he should help him. Then he was going there. When he was going, he went there. I had gone shot two times. I started crying because I know something happened. We are outside there, all manner of gun, of, of shooting going on. So before I know, around 12 to 1, that's when the guy now crawl. The guy, they, because they shot him. The guy that wanted taking me back home, they shot him on his leg. The bullet came out through this eye. He crawled and came back home and met us. He was full of blood. I had some screaming outside. So people outside, I saw somebody telling me to come and open my door. So I refused. I was trying to make some calls. So the guy was telling me I have the audacity to make call. I was kind of agitated. So I was trying to make call at the same time trying to alert my neighbor. Then I locked my door properly. So in the, in the process of locking the door, the guy was so angry that he started hitting the door with full force. So when I realized that he's going to get access to me, I ran back to the bathroom, trying to enter the ceiling. Unfortunately for me, the guy dragged me down. So in the process of dragging me down, that's where this singlet, yeah, that's where this singlet become like this. So he dragged me outside and was telling me in, 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 in Hausa tone and Fulani tone that I'm a bad guy, I'm trying to run, that they are going to deal with me. So I was sizing the guy up. He has a gun by the neck. So luckily for me, since the gun is by the neck, I know he didn't cock it. So I was able to push him, then I took off. The wife of the kidnapped lecturer says this is the third time the school is experiencing an attack. They were forcing the door open. When the door could not open, that was when they used the window. And one of them was even saying that ah, it's like there are no people in the house, they should just go. And one insisted, and he, that was when he forced the window open and he came inside. And when he came, it was I and my daughter he saw, and then he said we should just follow him. When we were going out, and it was through the window, we cannot go out through the window. Then their dad came, and they, they said he should go out through the window. And the person that came inside now went out. That was how they went, and they were just shooting go randomly. The Cardinal State Commissioner of Internal Security and Home Affairs on the response team confirms the incident. He says the state is on top of the situation. As a government, we will do all that is within our reach uh, to enhance security in the uh, institution. Even the student community, sir. Mm. All right. Well, I still want to reiterate, uh, we are here on behalf of Governor of Kaduna State uh, to commiserate with the polytechnic community. This uh, school environment, this environment, like, it is not really safe. Even the student community, it is not really safe. And there's no fence. Even the school, there's no fence. We need uh, the security uh, agents deployed here. At least we should see troops around. We all know that uh, this is not where they're supposed to be. But because of the security issue in the states, we need them around. Schools in Kaduna and other states have become soft targets for bandit attacks. Nigerians are disappointed that educational institutions are not well secured, giving room for the incessant invasion by bandits. They want more proactive actions to secure learning environments to avoid ugly incidents like this in the future. <laughs> Nisi Gabriel, Arise News, Kaduna.